Okay, so um, they want us to sketch an angle in standard position. And so we have a 30 degree, and so we'll do that one. So we want to make a coordinate system, axes, and then we're going to put our um, initial ray right there on the x-axis like we talked about, and then we're going to rotate 30 degrees. Now, if you think about, well, it's 90 degrees here, then you want to go like a third of the way. So I'll try to eyeball this a little better. I'll say about there. I'll say that's about a 30 degree angle. And we're measuring from here to the terminal side. We're going in a positive direction, okay? So that would be a sketch of a 30 degree angle in standard position. Okay, so B. Now they want us to sketch an angle of negative 135. Okay, so here comes my quadrant system. And then what do I know? Well, it's negative, right? So I've got to go in this direction. And I know it's 180 over here, negative, if I'm going counterclockwise, right? So I can put my initial um, side right there. And then I'm going to be rotating this way. But how far do I go? So what I would do is I would figure out, okay, what's the difference between, you know, 180 and 135? Now you might be saying, well, why don't you think about the difference between 90 and 135? You could. You could do it that way as well. Um, you might want to get in the habit of just going by 180, but that's okay. You know, that, that wouldn't be a big deal in this example. Um, so if I look at 180 and the difference, 135, by the way, I know negative 135 is going to be more than this far, right? Because that would only be negative 90 degrees if I got to um, the first line there. Okay, I have to erase that. It's gone. All right, and the difference here between 180 and 35 is 45 degrees. So basically, I need to go the 90 degrees and then 45 more. Now, because this is 90, I'm going to go half more because half of 90 is 45, right? So each quadrant is 90 degrees. So I want to go, let's try to eyeball it there. I want to go like halfway. So I'm going to say that's like negative 135 degrees. If you really want these accurate, you could get a protractor, but I wouldn't really worry about it too much. We do these sketches just to get a visual of what's going on, and it doesn't, you know, have to be highly accurate on paper. I mean, if you were building something where, you know, you had to measure these out, you would care, but we're just going to be drawing them and then working with these angles. So just do your best. You know, you want it to be as accurate as possible, but you can see mine aren't beautiful, um, and we're not going to spend a lot of time on those. Well, we're going to spend a lot of time drawing angles, <laughs> okay, because because we'll be doing a lot of that. So we want to get these basics down on angles, and then we'll move on into the trigonometry eventually.